At the end of the day, because of the pain that I was getting in my back because I was walking bow-legged, I decided to have it done. I took some time off work to devote two weeks of uh, preparation before the operation so that my knees were as strong as I possibly could. I did a lot of swimming and a lot of exercises that were prescribed to me by the physiotherapist. I did everything that they, they told me to do. I went to see a very good surgeon who answered my questions sufficiently well that I felt confident that he could do the job. So I, I assumed it was going to be an extremely difficult operation to recuperate from, particularly as I decided to have both of them done at once. I accepted that there would be some pain associated with it. I didn't quite understand the extent of the pain. It's not just two hours on an operating table, it's probably six days in hospital. It's at least three months of exercise. One of the problems I had with my surgery, I didn't get on top of the pain right from the start. They leave the tube, in, the epidural tube, to um, inject analgesia directly into your spine post the surgery. Unfortunately, the tube that was in my spine came free and they were injecting directly into a bandage. I found that difficult to communicate to them that my pain level was extremely high and they were a little bit skeptical about my pain level, but if you've not had this surgery, you actually have no idea how painful it is. I was very lucky at one point to find a, a, an older male nurse who was on at night time who actually advocated for me. And I didn't realise how important that was because I was fearful, uh, I didn't know how to deal with my situation. And he, uh, he, he was a strong advocate for better um, analgesia for me. Of course, having the analgesia as, as the weeks progress, um, your pain certainly lessens. But for the first two weeks, it really is a constant. It was very, very confronting to actually be a really independent person and then all of a sudden, you literally have no leg to stand on. At the hospital at the time of the surgery, um, woke up, no problems at all, and they put me straight onto the machine to get it bending. And of course, you're on morphine then, so you can start the exercises as quickly as possible. Um, I struggled with the right knee, with the physio, only for the fact that the left one was so weak. So a lot of the exercises the left one would give out on me. Um, but once I got home and started doing the exercises, you could feel the improvement coming. It was probably three months before I could actually lift my leg on my own without having to use my hands to lift it. It's at least three months of exercise, which is boring, right? I mean, you get a board and a towel and you lie on the bed and you try to stretch your leg and you do all these little exercises and you get a plastic band and you put it on the bottom of the chair and you try to stretch your leg out like this, which makes you cry. Um, in all honesty, the, the exercises were probably as painful as the operation, but I thought if I, if I could endure that pain and do the exercise, I would reap the benefits of it. And I think I have. We, we normally judge the success of a knee replacement um, by uh, uh, what the patient thinks about the operation sometime afterwards, so six or 12 months down the track. And if you ask patients how happy are you with the knee replacement, are you satisfied, or is your knee pain and function a lot better than it was before, um, at least 80% uh, of patients will say that their pain and function is significantly improved and they're, they're very happy with the knee. It was a good six months before I actually got full proper movement back and it was probably a full 12 months um, before I felt confident and comfortable with moving around. The outcome of the operation initially was spectacular. It's not so spectacular now, but I put up a little bit of pain every now and then. I had the knee replacement because every step that I took was giving me pain. And after the knee replacement, I didn't have the pain. It was just absolutely wonderful. I would say it was two years that I actually am really grateful that I've had the surgery. Recently, physiotherapist-led programs have commenced in many public hospitals 
that are actually moving the rehabilitation phase to before knee replacement. And the results have been very promising, sometimes delaying knee replacement for several years. And for some people, removing them from the surgical list permanently. What we try and do in this program is gear our participants towards self-management of their osteoarthritis, and that's through multidisciplinary input. So they'll see a physiotherapist, dietitian, occupational therapist, social worker, orthotist. Since I had the total knee replacement, there's been no problem at all with, with my right knee. Whereas this knee was giving me pain a year or so ago, and uh, that's when I came to the hospital, and I got into the program, and that involves physiotherapy and when wearing a brace and doing the, the physio every day. What we have found is that 15% of individuals who are going to go on and have elective knee joint replacement surgery have withdrawn from that surgery due to improvements derived from being on the program. I've, I've often wondered if I'd done the same amount of exercises with my right knee, whether the total knee replacement would have been necessary, whereas from what I know now with my left knee, I can't see myself having a knee replacement. So for knee pain with osteoarthritis, you don't need an MRI to make a diagnosis. Arthroscopy to clean out the joint doesn't work. And before you land on the operating table for a knee replacement, it might be worth trying weight loss and intensive physiotherapy. But remember, knee replacement is a good operation for those who are suffering a lot with pain and disability. For more information, you can go to our website, tonictv.com.au. See you next time.